Hi everybody. Well, this is Saturday, uh, July 17th. Uh, going on a little adventure today. Craig, an old friend of mine that I metal detected with back in the 70s, well, 80s actually, when I first heard of metal detecting in the early 80s. Uh, I got like Garrett. Craig Hunter was a fisher, an older one, and now he's got an upgraded fisher. Uh, and Craig contacted me one time and wanted to know if I was Park. Uh, now it's now it's marked for a carpool and then it's just parking. But uh, this used to have I don't know where it was offhand, but it used to have you know the the old bathrooms, the old outhouses, and uh, was a roadside park along the old Lincoln Highway. This is uh, we're traveling here on uh, Route 30, which was the old Lincoln Highway. It was brick, coast to coast, whatever you know. So Model T's used to travel this, and, uh, and it's a park and ride now, but it was a, that was a roadside park at one time. And it's another spot you're gonna have to check out another hey time. Guys, check this out. On the way to Craig's, uh, I passed an area that I know as a kid, this whole hillside was a drive-in theater. Uh, there's actually roads through here. And there's a factory just to the east of here that looks like they own it. And there's a sign that says build a suit, yada yada, phone number. I'm going to get that phone number and see if I can get permission to hit, to hit this hillside. Uh, yeah, maybe I can get a bunch of us together to come over. It's a little grown up, but it's it's kind of like a, an unmowed hayfield, a lot of places. But um, there's a lot of roads through here. There's gravel remnants down underneath which this whole hillside was just gravel i remember it oh in the well i remember it in the late 60s but it was here 40s and 50s uh this whole hill the 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 uh big screen was down that way at the bottom of the hill and this this whole hillside was just gravel and those posts with the uh with the speakers you used to hang on your window you know uh I don't know, there could be a lot of silver on this hillside, and I'll bet this has never been hit. Uh, they tore this theater out of here in probably the mid-70s. I'm surprised it's even doable. Uh, I thought it would probably just be a really thick, grown-up mess, but it kind of looks like it could be done. It wouldn't be easy, but it could be done. So, anyway. Oh, yeah, back. and I'm up on this hillside in my new four-wheel drive Ranger. Oh, is it sweet having this baby now. Stuff like this, uh, this fall. We'll be going places. Okay, now huh. I'll be back. Used to be a house there on that corner. Now I bet that's been hit by every detector for a hundred miles. But it looks good. I'll be back. All right, guys. Here's uh, this is Craig. Uh, <laughs> Craig says hello. We're hunting at a relative of his house here, and this uh, this old brick house here through the trees, you can see it was an old one-room schoolhouse. And uh, we hunted here years ago. Craig and I hunted here together. Found some Indian head pennies, but that was older detectors, and uh, that was back in oh, uh, well, it's been 10 years or more, well, more, more than that. So we're gonna try it again here with a with the E-Track, and he's got a, a good Fisher CZ6 here. So we're gonna hunt around here in the yard, and uh, we'll get back with you when we have something to show. Well, about four minutes into the hunt, there's the first wheat penny. And here comes Craig to check it out. 
I'll be back with you. Now, two feet away and two swings later, another wheat. Still by this bush, so I'm not, <laughs> like I said, two more swings. I'll be back. Here's a coin Craig just found. And it's a corroded. He can't, we really can't see anything on it. But I did it here on the E-Track and it's showing a 1232. So I almost guarantee you that's an Indian head. Maybe some peroxide will bring an Indian out in there. But pretty sure it is. Yep. Yeah, the, number, the numbers are showing just exactly like an Indian head. Maybe it's an 1870. But I haven't yet to find an 1870 Indian head. Well, maybe that's it. That could be. Oh, we got company out here. Huh? Here's the property owner came oh. to see. Well, there's the first them. silver, 46 Rosie. I'll be back. There's a V nickel. Not in too terrible shape. Well, that's the next good find. I'm going to have to go check on Craig here pretty quick, see where he's at and how he's doing. I'll be back. There's the next good one, a buffalo nickel. Kind of nickel day here. I don't know how Craig's doing. He's on the other side of the house. I'm going to have to go check on him here pretty quick. Do you see a date? Well, there's the next good find, and it's an Indian head, but boy, not in very good shape, and I can't see a date on it. It might clean up with a little peroxide. Uh, it's got the... This stuff out here would be real low. Got the shield. Yeah, this now this hasn't been filled out here. You said right? No, not here. This is yeah, yeah. This and this might have been like a playground area from the old school. Now the foundation on this and here. Would be oh, that's right. There was another school here. Yeah. Uh, in fact, actually, uh, you just about right here. Just rectangle. Yeah, right in here sat the oldest school on the property, and then the, the, what is now the house was a, a second one-room school. About 1867. 1867 is the one you live in, yeah. so this one was before that. Interesting. I'll be back. Here's a nice wheat. That, that really, that's going to clean up nice. It's got a shine to it. You can see better with that thing. Yeah, and this is my video camera, I Craig, but, but I, I can use the uh, the macro and get oh, in close. Yeah. I don't know whether you got my email. You know, people that haven't been getting my email lately. I know. Sometimes they don't come through. I'll be back.